Hi everyone, welcome to Tony on Real Estate Education. I've been a state certified real estate instructor for the past 10 years. If you enjoy my channel and are interested in starting a career in real estate, I teach the full real estate course at the American Real Estate School. For more information, feel free to contact us at 631-724-8844. Well, before we get started, I do want to make mention of the fact that I did try to make most of these questions wordy because that's the feedback that I'm getting from my past students that the questions on the exams are very wordy. So we want to make sure that we get used to those kind of questions. All right, let's move on. Question number one, if a real estate broker's license is revoked, what immediate impact does this have on the active status of a salesperson's license under that broker? And what conditions must be met to restore it to active status? The answer B, the salesperson's license is suspended until he or she finds another broker. Don't forget, real estate agents cannot work independently from their broker. That's one of the reasons why the real estate license does not go directly to the real estate agent. It goes to their broker of choice. Number two, what term describes a real estate advertisement that fails to disclose the identity of status of the advertiser as a licensed broker, potentially misleading the public regarding the nature of the transactions? The answer, a blind ad. Number three, who is considered the official agent representing the principal, the owner, in a real estate transaction? The answer, the broker of record. Even though an agent could have put their sibling's house on the market, the relationship would still be between the broker of the office and the homeowner or principal. Four, when a licensed broker decides to work under the supervision and direction of another broker, rather than operating their own independent brokerage, what is the broker commonly referred to as? The answer, an associate broker. Number five, what term is used to describe a hidden or concealed issue with a property that is not immediately apparent through a typical inspection and is not discoverable by ordinary means, but could affect the property's value or safety? The answer, a latent defect. Number six, what illegal practice occurs when competing brokers in a specific area agree to set uniform commission rates, thereby eliminating competition and potentially violating antitrust laws by artificially controlling pricing in the real estate market? The answer, price fixing. Market allocation refers to an agreement between competitors to divide markets among themselves, limiting competition. Number seven, what term describes a real estate broker requiring a buyer or tenant to purchase additional services, like insurance or renovations, from a specific provider, limiting their choice? The answer, B, a tie-in arrangement. Self-dealing is when an agent acts in their own interests instead of their clients, like buying a property without properly informing the client. Number eight, what type of agent is authorized to act on behalf of a principal for a specific limited purpose, such as facilitating the purchase or sale of a property, but has no authority to make decisions or take actions outside of that defined scope of work? The answer, A, a special agent. A universal agent has full authority to handle all matters for someone else. 
Number 9. What legal act holds a broker responsible for the actions and conduct of their real estate agents while they are acting within the scope of their employment, even though the broker may not have directly participated in the actions that led to the liability? The answer, vicarious liability. 10. What specific form must be provided to a prospective client or customer during first substantive contact in order to disclose the nature of the agency relationship and ensure that the parties are fully informed about whether the agent is representing the buyer, the seller, or acting in another capacity, thereby fulfilling the legal requirements to educate them about their rights? The answer, the agency disclosure form. Number 11. What is the term used to describe the agent who is working on behalf of the seller through the primary broker? The answer, a sub-agent. A general agent is considered a property manager. Number 12. What type of listing agreement grants a real estate broker the exclusive right to represent the seller and receive a commission, regardless of who finds the buyer, ensuring that the broker is compensated even if the seller sells the property themselves? The answer, A an exclusive right to sell listing. When we think about an exclusive agency listing, that's what gives the homeowner the right to sell on their own without paying the broker's commission. Number 13. What term describes the type of property ownership with the greatest level of control and rights, allowing them to use, sell, or transfer the property without any limitations on duration and is considered the most complete form of property ownership in real estate law? The answer, B, fee simple. Homestead Properties is considered a primary residence with financial advantages and long-term stability. Number 14. A farmer owns a tractor that he uses to cultivate crops and can take it with him when he moves. What would this type of asset be classified as in contrast to immovable real estate like a barn? The answer, A, personal property. Real property is anything that is attached to the property. For example, a barn. Number 15. What term is commonly used as another name for personal property, specifically referring to movable items that are not permanently attached to land or a building, such as furniture or appliances? The answer, A, chattels. Fixtures, They're, that's personal property that is attached to the property. For example, a chandelier. It's personal property while it's in the box, but once it's attached to the ceiling, it is a fixture. Number 16. In a cooperative housing arrangement, what document is issued to a shareholder to show their ownership interest in the building and grant them the right to occupy a specific unit, effectively functioning as a lease? but with the added characteristic of representing ownership in the corporation that owns the property. The answer, B, a proprietary lease. A gross lease is when a tenant pays rent only. The landlord bears all other expenses. Number 17, what term is used to describe the process of gradually paying off a debt over a set period of time through a series of regular monthly payments where each payment covers both the interest and the principal, ultimately reducing the balance owed until the loan is fully repaid. 
The answer, amortization. Negative amortization is when the mortgage balance most likely ticks up and the borrower can end up with a balloon payment at the end of the loan. Number 18. What term is used to describe two properties or pieces of land that are directly next to each other, sharing a common boundary or border, and where one property physically touches the other, often in the context of property lines or real estate descriptions? The answer, abutting. A party wall is an actual wall dividing two units. Number 19, how many square feet are in an acre? The answer, B, 43,560. Number 20, what government program created to encourage home ownership among low to moderate income buyers provides mortgage insurance to lenders, thereby reducing their risk and allowing borrowers to qualify for loans with lower down payments and more flexible credit requirements? The answer, FHA, Federal Housing Administration. FHA Section 8 helps low to moderate income tenants pay their rent. Number 21. When a property is sold, the seller typically pays a fee based on the sales price, transferring the deed from the seller to the buyer. What is this fee called? The answer, transfer tax. Earnest money is also known as deposit money. It's provided by the buyer to show good faith in purchasing a property. Number 22. Before starting construction on a new building, you must first obtain a building permit from the local building department. Once the building is completed and inspected, what document do you need to obtain to legally occupy or use the space? The answer, A, a certificate of occupancy. A blueprint is considered a floor plan. 23. What is it called when a homeowner wants to enforce a limitation on the use of their property, such as prohibiting certain types of structures or activities? The answer is A. Deed restriction. An easement is the legal right to use another's property. Number 24. The final price at which real estate is sold is ultimately decided by who? The answer, C, the buyers. Buyers set the price by their willingness to make the purchase. Number 25. What term describes the unethical and often illegal practice by real estate agents of subtly influencing or directing prospective home buyers towards or away from certain neighborhoods based on the demographic composition of those areas, rather than allowing the buyer to make an independent decision. The answer, B, steering. Blockbusting is when the real estate agent makes negative comments about the neighborhood in an effort to scare the homeowner into listing their property.